out of my way. I'm coming through and I'm gonna do this. Good morning. I've been saying good morning really obnoxiously the last two days. Happy Tuesday. You know what that means. It's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We're making progress. We're gonna have the best day ever. We're gonna be focused, ambitious, motivated. We're gonna knock it out the park. We're going to do what we're supposed to do today with no inter freaking ruptions. Ah! <laughs> Road rage. We're gonna, we're gonna be happy. We're not gonna let people get in our way. Cause there's just people that get in the way and you just have to say, hey, you're in my way. No, like literally that person was in my way. <sighs> so you just have to take your car and say, get out of my way. I'm coming through and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get on the highway in time. And that's like a metaphor for like, life. Did any of y'all read The Fault Between Our Stars or The Fault Within? No, The Fault Within Our Stars. Oh my God, I just finished reading it. Well, I was actually listening to it because when I'm working, I do listen to music in the background when I'm not like making calls when I'm doing numbers and just doing stuff in the background. Or I listen to like podcasts or radio. And I was like, oh, no new podcasts. And then I started listening to the book on Audible because Audible's like, I will give you a free trial if you sign up. But I'm going to cancel in 30 days because I don't know if I want to pay $14 a month for ebooks. So I think that's kind of stupid. If I do want them, I'd just rather buy them individually. Even though I looked at the prices of the books and some of them are really expensive. Anyways, that book. And it, like, I hate being read to. Like, I thought I would completely hate the whole concept of an audiobook because nothing annoys me more than when people read to me because <laughs> I feel like I've been reading since I was three years old I'm good and yes I have been reading since I was three years old because my mom wasn't into like kids stories so she taught me how to read so I could read my own stories <laughs> so I hate being read to I don't know if that's why but I just hate being read to but I got so into that book to the point where I was like ooh, I gotta go listen to my book so it was a nice change from having that as background noise instead of a playlist or a podcast or whatever. Because I think sometimes like if you don't like listen to different like background noise, if you can, depends on what your job is, like you lose your freaking mind and the lines get blurred. Okay, the lines don't get blurred. I was trying to be funny and it, it didn't work. But I'm gonna go. Cause I'm almost on the highway. I live two minutes from the highway and it takes like seven minutes to get there in the morning. And it's late, so I don't understand. I don't know where these, I don't know where all these people are going. They're probably wondering that about me. Go, the light is green, dale. I swear, people just strolling along like. <sighs> Drive with purpose, people. Hola mi gente! Comcast sucks, my internet's not working. So they're sending a... Lame ass signal to my thing that, that never works. I can't deal with them. I was gonna call them back, but they're gonna be like, man, can you unplug your mode and plug it back in? Um, no, because I already did that. But it's super late, so I shouldn't even stress out about it. But I hope everyone had a good day. I had a very trying, for lack of a better word, day. Like, my head was just so messy. Not like, you know, my head. So, I asked the girls if they wanted to go to dinner, and they're like, no, because I had stuff to do, which is totally understandable. But I just felt like I needed to get things off my chest and just be with one of my friends. So I texted one of the bars, and I was like, I need to see you. And she was like, shop like go. So we went to Starbucks and ate pastries and junk food and drank tea. I, I'm not like a hot tea drinker. I, what do I always get from there? Oh, passion tea. My favorite. Ice passion tea. And just sitting outside and talking, I, I feel so much better. And I'm just so thankful that I have friends that can be there for me when I need them. 
But I have to remember that when I need help, to ask for it. Because how are they gonna know if you don't ask? So I guess that's the message of the night. If you need help, ask. What do you think about that, Mr. Bantley? I don't really care. I'm trying to get, I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun. We're gonna call it a night, because it's bedtime. Say bye to all your friends. I'm busy, I don't want to. Bye, bye guys. So annoying, I don't even know you guys. Bye. And tomorrow will be the best day ever. Does my hair look weird? Because I just got the shower. Bye!